Hey guys, in this video I share with you the process of taking a manual blood pressure by auscultation as well as a blood pressure by palpation. So let's get started. If you want a full depth explanation of what blood pressure is and why it is so important, be sure to check out this recent video by clicking the eye in the corner of your screen. A manual blood pressure should be done first on every patient contact. Let's find out what the steps are for obtaining a blood pressure via auscultation. Our first step is to position the patient's arm properly. We want to position the arm down at the side in a straight position with the bicep equal to the level of the heart. We want this to be a nice relaxed position for the patient. Then we are going to take our blood pressure cuff and we are going to place it on the bicep approximately one to two inches above the, uh, the elbow. Now, you can see in between my two hands here, you have a artery line. This artery line is to where you are going to place the blood pressure cuff over the brachial artery. Typically, brachial arteries run on the medial side of the arm. Some patients, however, have it on the lateral side. So if you position it on the medial side first and don't find the brachial artery, just note that you'll just have to slide the blood pressure cuff laterally so this line lines up with the brachial artery. Now, one, once you are securing the Velcro, we want to make sure that this cuff is nice and secured to the patient's arm. If the cuff is too big, the Velcro isn't going to be able to secure properly and just wrap around the cuff. So you're going to need a smaller cuff. If the cuff is too small for your patient's arm, that, that Velcro is going to be very tight to close or it will start to pop off once you get uh, air into that blood pressure cuff. Both could lead to false blood pressure readings. So we want to make sure that we're positioning the right appropriate size cuff to the patient's arm. Now, once you have this secure, you're going to move all your tubing out of the way and you're going to palpate the brachial artery. We're going to find and palpate this brachial artery so we know where to put the uh, stethoscope when we're auscultating a pressure. The next step is to turn your dial on your hand pump to ensure that airflow is going into the blood pressure cuff itself. Next, you're going to take your stethoscope and you're going to place it where you palpated the brachial artery. Take your hand pump and start to inflate the cuff approximately to 160 millimeters of mercury or 180 millimeters of mercury. In this case, I went to 180 millimeters of mercury. If you start to hear a thud, a thump, 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 as soon as you begin to release pressure from that uh, air valve, now you know you have to go higher than 180. If you start to hear silence, just keep waiting and you will start to hear what you're looking for. Now, as you release air, you're going to start to look for needle ticks, okay? Needle ticks is where you will see the needle tick upwards slightly. Be ready to listen for a thump, 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 thump thump as that needle goes down. The first thump that you hear, note that as your systolic number. The last thump or when the thumps become very muffled is going to be your systolic number. So on this patient, as, after we auscultated uh, this blood pressure, it came back as 96 over 50. There are times where you may not be able to hear or access the brachial artery on the arm you are using to obtain a blood pressure. These are the times where you can use the blood pressure by palpation method. Bear in mind though that this method does not produce a diastolic reading, hence your blood pressure is incomplete. So revert back to auscultation as soon as you're able to, ensuring you get a complete systolic and diastolic blood pressure reading. Here's the process of obtaining a blood pressure by palpation. The first thing that we need to do is position our patient's arm correctly. We're going to still place it at the side nice and straight and relaxed with the bicep equal to the level of the heart. Then we're going to place our blood pressure cuff the exact same fashion that we would when we auscultate a blood pressure. 
Next, we are going to take the lower arm and we are going to palpate for a radial pulse. Once we have found a strong present radial pulse, we are then going to twist our airflow knob on our, uh, on our hand pump to make sure that airflow is going into the blood pressure cuff. Once we have ensured that it's nice and tight, we're going to pump up the blood pressure cuff until we feel that there is no more pulse. Then we are going to slowly let air out of the cuff and you're palpating until when you feel a pulse. The beginning of when you feel a pulse again is the number that you are going to record for your uh, palpated blood pressure. Remember that there is no diastolic for palpable blood pressures. You will get in this instant, in this instance for this patient, we got 96 by palp. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.